you know, maybe all of that, what is it, strong arming they call it? Well, maybe it's working because now you can add the likes of Amazon and Fiat, Chrysler, and Alibaba to the growing list of companies promising to create new jobs in America. And now, get this, Mexico is saying that it is ready to negotiate with Donald Trump over a border wall and trade. Weird goings on. Hi, everyone. Happy to have you. I'm Neil Cavuto to Charles Payne, Charlie Gasparino. Kennedy is here, along with Ben Stein. Glad to have him back. Adam Lashinsky. So, Charles, are, are, are Trump's tactics helping or hurting? They're helping, I guess, in the sense of he's getting this done. Mm -hmm. Others argue, wait a minute, at what price? Well, there's no price right now. They're working, there's no doubt about it. I mean, listen, if someone wanted to be cynical, they'd say, if you add up all the jobs, it's not that many. I think also he stopped jobs from leaving. That would be this White House. That is. Oh, exactly. of course. That would be, and, 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 and some of their friends in the media. But let's think about the. Uh, let's think about the. Who the are you so talking about? <laughs> you. Let's talk you, about the, actually you. We the just... saga of Lockheed Martin. Uh, the CEO of Lockheed Martin goes to Mar a Lago. And she's like, this guy, listen, I'm, I'm not smiling. And she walked out of there. She's not playing ball. I remember that. Now she playing ball because before, you know, then I'm only waiting for Donald Trump to come out with the scene from Cool Hand Luke. Some men you just can't reach <laughs> because he's reaching them all right now. Well, there's something to that. And, and Adam, uh, Marilyn Yusuf was one of those who, after mar -a -Lago, you know, walked out in the hub, didn't stop to talk to reporters. We're told the very next day, lo and behold, we get this uh, tweet idea from Donald Trump to maybe renegotiate this F-35 fighter contract, Lockheed Martin's contract. Um, and it, on Friday, lo and behold, she shows up at Trump Tower, talks to reporters afterwards, says that we're working on a more affordable deal. Uh, what's going on? Well, it's, ob it's obvious what, what's going on, and I'm well, not going to so say that. I wouldn't it's ask you. <laughs> well, it's obvious that these CEOs, Neil, are responding to the president-elect's um, tactics, and I'm not going to say it's a bad, idea, a bad idea to create jobs in the United States. I, I, I won't say that for a second. What I will say, and by the way, it, it's though. also not a bad idea. For the, for the president to use his bully pulpit, right, to, to encourage people to do the things he wants them to do. But if he's going to make policy by tweet or if he's going to make policy by threats, then, yes, we have that, 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 that there is a price to that. Well, it's called the rule of Obama law, did, and it? we should be concerned about that. Obama did a lot of that. Be, be clear, right? Policy by threats, Adam? I mean, you know, fat cats. Uh, he did a policy by, by uh, executive order, if, that, right. if that's what you're that's saying. Right. And, and, and that, that's true. I mean, that, that, that is one of the president's tools. Challenge. Fat <laughs> cats and, and all the rest of them. He made a yeah. lot of policy by... by, you know, by so uh, it, it, this uh, might uh, be a uh, different administration's oranges, approach, but okay. Kennedy. A different Everything is going to be different about it. And that's why I think it's so foolish to try mm. and take past rules and past patterns and mm. apply them to this mm. president-elect. Because it's just not going to happen the way it's happened in the past. And, you know, and well, do you like it? Now, you're a free kind of marketeer and all this, and he is, he is forcing some of these changes productively to get U.S. jobs. Right? No, I, I, I never want the federal government to force businesses to do anything. So you I don't like this? So you to hate Donald Trump? To do anything. No, but what I, I do like, I about, like what this. I do appreciate <laughs> about it is I love the idea that there's this upswell and this acceptance of new jobs and manufacturing in this country. Mm. Manufacturing may not be the future, but if it's the present and it puts people back to work and gives them good-paying, long-term jobs, I think that's fantastic. Yeah. I also think that some of these companies like Fiat and Sprint and IBM are very smart to use the best digital marketing PR firm there is on the planet, and that's Donald Trump's Well, you don't want to be tweeted about, right? So you want to be tweeted about that. positively. Yeah, absolutely. So, so if Donald Trump is saying this company is bringing a factory and jobs back here, people Fair respond enough. to that and buy those products, I don't have a problem with ben that. Ben Stein, what do you make of all this? I think mercantilism does not work. Free markets work. The government should not be bossing people around. The whole idea of a Republican president bossing people around and telling businesses how to operate, telling the supply chain how to change and to uh, bend his will like King Canute trying to change the waves <laughs> is uh, extremely <laughs> unfortunate. I agree. It will work for a while. It will work for a while. But it's not going to work in the long run. And free markets are called free markets for right. a reason. They produce tremendous here, here. amounts of prosperity because they don't have government interference. And uh, free markets are the way to go in America. But not everyone has free markets, right? The way the world is constructed, we don't have free markets, right? 
I agree, but if we can get goods that are good quality goods cheaply from China or Taiwan, uh, let's get them from there. Retrain American workers to do other kinds of jobs. Then they to try to that bully failed workers. workers. You know, Neil, 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 here's what we haven't put... tried and failed at it. We, have, <coughs> we don't, when people are retrained, they do get better jobs. You just said that you weren't a fan of the, of the government. You know, so so. <laughs> No, government retraining and government helping people be uh, compensated right. and make their livelihood while they're uh, being retrained, no, absolutely. But no, telling business how to operate, that's not America. Well, that's <laughs> yeah, right. That's fascism to a certain extent. But let's be real clear here. I it, would say fascism for fascists, right? Well, I mean, government, no. <laughs> no, I mean, I, we, we're doing that term loosely, and it's uh, like, I, but no, but save it, it for the guys who actually work. No, no, I'm not saying he's in favor of labor camps and stuff. I'm saying that is an economic term for, for directing big business and tell them what to do. I mean, it's a form of social. But how is it different than favoring an uh, industry like solar? Well, it depends on how far you go. And I would just point out this. You know, going and having meetings with businesses, my view, is a good thing, imploring them to stay in the U.S. Okay. But let's be real clear here. This is pennies. And if Donald Trump spends most of his time meeting with these CEOs for a few jobs here and a few mm. jobs here. This is tens of thousands of No, no. The tens of thousands and millions of jobs will be created when he finally starts talking <coughs> about cutting taxes right. like he proposed during the campaign. But maybe that's what he's holding out there. Don't go make Well, he's not president yet. So, yeah. right. But the bottom line is the carrot's going to work a lot right. more than the stick. Absolutely. The stick works on the public relations part, and that does infuse middle America, people who want these jobs. But you're and a big free market too. Does that part bother you to, to the degree it does Ben Stein and... Um, I don't, I and think me. if he acts on the threat, I, I mentioned Ben. It would bother me more so <laughs> than, I think the idea that he's calling them on the carpet has worked beautifully. And I think it's a smart thing. And I think you'll see more companies like Amazon trying to get ahead of this and announcing 100,000 well. jobs. And, and again, maybe they were going to hire them or not. But the point is, is I, I think uh, companies are paying attention. Suppose he penalizes them. He's actually threatened penalizing specific he companies. Has. And that's where this thing does get the slippery slope. And that's it's really well, good. he can hammer the stock. And he's done that. But, Adam, yeah. could I ask you about that in the case of Amazon? You know all these guys. And I always hear this, that a lot of those jobs were intended anyway. They were part of a <laughs> soft bank, $50 billion, 50,000 U.S. jobs thing. That was in the works, yeah. I understand. I don't know how much of it was sped up with Donald Trump, but... How much of this is real job gains that we would not have seen anyway? Well, it is, it, partly they're playing the politician's game, right? Like take right. credit or issue a press release for something I was planning on doing anyway. That said, I'll give uh, the incoming administration the benefit of the doubt. I think these business leaders do think there'll be some tax relief and some regulatory relief, and so they're willing to be a little bolder. Where is the tax plan? I mean, he keeps talking about building walls and stuff. I want to hear about taxes. Well, I mean, even lowering the corporate tax yeah. rate. If you he, have if never said anything good about him, ever. I like his hair. Really no, hasn't. You <laughs> really he are. Just, 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 just so. <laughs> you really. weren't supposed to talk about that. You're just Don't a say hater. Don't the word golden. Whenever yeah. you do. Oh, who's wearing the yellow tie? <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> well, Neil is too. Wait a minute. I am. All right. Now I'm going to be heading down. I'm going to be heading down to Washington because you might have heard there's an inauguration. So we're going to be there. And just look at the early reaction we're getting when they got wind of this. <laughs> Well, they've just got wind of my marathon coverage. It kicks off Thursday, first on Fox Business Network at noon, which if you don't have, you should demand. Otherwise, just pray. Then on Fox News, 4 p.m., we'll be back on FBN for the big inauguration day itself with special coverage. It starts with the swearing in and the prep for it, 11 a.m. till at least 5 p.m. Could go later, depending on what rounds of drinks are available. <laughs> then on Saturday, a special cost of freedom. All these guys are here, but wait, there is still more. Your world.